Blessings, friends, and good morning. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, the people of God say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust that you are blessed this morning. I trust that your mind is upon the things of heaven and your soul is thirsty for the things of God. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about this morning, friends. If you would, open your Bible to Philippians chapter 1, and I want to look at verse 6 as our text. Now, today is July 3rd in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Paul says to these young Philippian believers in chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. There was a day that you and I left a world of self-gratification where we spent our days doing what we wanted to do, when we wanted to do it, and how we wanted to do it. And yet, in a moment of time, we recognized a decision point in our lives. We heard the voice of God, the call of God, and we had to choose whether we were going to rebel or whether we were going to obey. And in the moment that we bowed our knees and our hearts and we surrendered our lives unto him, at that moment he began a good work in us and he is performing that day by day. So the question that we must ask ourselves this morning is this. Is there something different? Is there a hunger, a thirst, a new desire leading us and guiding us, compelling us and drawing us today than there were in those days of darkness that we can remember not too long ago. You see, Paul says in the same book, chapter 2, verse 13, for it is God who works in you both to will and do of his good pleasure, not our good pleasure, but his good pleasure. And how are we to do that? Well, we just back up several verses and we begin in verse one. He says, if there be any consolation or encouragement in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any bowels and mercies, which means kindness and compassions, if these things exist in our lives, especially the fellowship of the living God, let nothing, in verse 3, be done through strife or vainglory. Let nothing be done through self-exaltation. Let nothing be done through pride. But in lowliness of mind, modesty, and humility, let each esteem other better than themselves. Now, if there's a thought we want to carry throughout this day, friends, that is it. Let each esteem other better than themselves. In verse 4, look not every man on his own things, but every man on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. In verse 8, because he was found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He who is creator of all that is, descended and walked among his creation and allowed his creation to spit upon him, beat him, mock him, and kill him upon a wooden cross. And as he humbled himself and lived the life of servitude, so should we. And Paul says, knowing this in verse 12, let every man work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. So our salvation is based upon how we treat others. That's why Jesus said, many will stand before me on that day and I will look to them and say, well, when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. When I was thirsty, you didn't give me something to drink. When I was sick, you didn't visit me or in prison. And then when they look to him and say, well, Lord, when were you these things? We didn't see you in those times. And he says, the least you do it unto these, my brothers and sisters, you do it unto me. And so again, look not every man on his own things, but every man on the things of others. And by doing this, you know the seed of God has been planted in your life. If that desire, 
Not just a form of obedience, but if that desire is truly springing into you to truly love and care for and help and serve others, he who has begun a good work in you will continue to perform it until the day that Jesus Christ returns. That hunger will grow more intense. That desire will grow deeper. That love will grow stronger. And that service will grow greater. Friends, is that what you can say about your life today? Do you sense the presence of God in your life, drawing you to deeper things? Do you thirst for the word of God as babies thirst for their mother's milk? Do you hunger for the things of God? That, my friend, is an indication that you belong to him and he belongs to you. And for that, you should spend the day singing hallelujah and shouting praises to your great God and King. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so grateful that you decided to spend a few moments with us this morning. I pray that your journey will be blessed today as you walk with the Lord Jesus. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.